Hey, third grade, today you are gonna get back your collage that is inspired by um, the Brussels flower carpet. If you haven't finished cutting and gluing, you need to do that first and make sure to get it a-okayed by me before you move on to the last step. Okay, remember that we've been talking about symmetry, making sure one side looks just like the other side. Um, we've been working a lot with warm colors. When you get this far, um, you're gonna finish it off with some little details using our color sticks. We're gonna stick to the warm colors, just like what we did with our sheets of papers. You can use some reds, some pinks, some oranges, some yellows. Okay, try to stay away from those cool colors. You know, this peach color, that's a warm color. Um, that looks like most of them. And we're going to use these just to add some small little details. And once again, we're going to focus on making sure that it is symmetrical as well. So remember, whatever I do to one side, I need to do to the other as well. I'm not just going to color in a whole shape, though. Okay, so if my... Triangle right here is red. Doesn't make sense to color that whole thing orange, okay? Because it's already a red shape. But I can go in and do some stripes or some polka dots on top of some of these things. Maybe you want to do some stripes up here. Press kind of hard so it shows up. And if you try coloring on something that is wet, it might not work very well. Okay, like wet from glue underneath it. When you get this far, you are all done. You can see I went in, I was very thoughtful with some of the designs. Sometimes I kind of repeated the shape with the crayons. Um, sometimes I did polka dots, sometimes I did stripes, okay, stripes. Okay, so be thoughtful. You don't have to add a pattern to every single thing. Okay, but it should look intentional or thoughtful when you add these designs to your artwork. When you're done, um, bring it up to me so I can check it out and it's gonna go on the drying rack when you're done.